Hey everyone, today I'm going to do a review on a new lip product that is now available in Canada. So this is the Marcel Lip Lacquer Luxe Color Rush. So they came out with seven shades and they sent me all seven shades to try, which I am really thankful about and really have been enjoying these products so much. And I'm so excited to share my review with you today. So let's take a look at Marcel's website, which is marcel.com and read about this product. So the creamy formula provides lightweight, hydrating, and long-lasting color with a mirror-like shine. The precision tip applicator allows for precise application and buildable custom color for a perfect pout every time. Available in seven shades. Highly pigmented color with a high shine finish. It's long-lasting and hydrating. Hypoallergenic and perfume-free. No smell or taste. Dermatologist tested. I have to agree with all of those claims. As you'll see in the swatches of the shades, they have a great range of light, wearable, kind of everyday shades. Then they have a few colors that are a bit brighter, which is awesome, so I think they're really catering to everyone. They are really adjustable, as they say, so you can build them up and kind of get them to be very opaque, or you can shear them out a bit by blotting them off with a Kleenex. Uh, you can apply these over a lipstick, over a lip stain, you can wear them on their own. So you do have quite a bit of options there. So let's get right into these swatches. first one is called Universal Nude and as the name suggests it's a very wearable nude gloss. It's a little warmer than a usual nude that I would go for but I think this looks amazing. This would look good on all skin tones. It's a beautiful shade. It is a little bit sheer. Uh, beautiful shade. I really really like it. I would definitely recommend it. This one is called Bashful Pink and this one is a nude I would say. It does have a lot more of a rose undertone to it. It's kind of my lips but better. I really really like this shade. This is kind of more of a nude that I would go for. I think it's very complementary to a cooler undertone but I think a lot of different uh, skin tones would look amazing with this. Um, so you can see compared to the first one, it's just much more pink toned. This one is called Bubblegum Pink and as the name implies, it is more bright. It's getting out of the nudes and I really like it. It doesn't have, it almost seems like it might have a tiny bit of a pearlescent uh, or a slight, slight sheen. Uh, it just reflects the light a little bit more than the other ones. I really like this one. It is more colorful. I still think you could wear it for every day. Uh, I think it really will help brighten up anyone's face. So I really, really like this color comparing it to the one before it. So this one is bashful pink. You can tell that bubblegum pink has quite a bit more color to it. Okay, the next one is Ruby Rose. I really, really like this one. It's really nice and opaque. It does have that rose color to it. So it's nowhere bright and it just looks so good. It's very flattering. If I hold it up to bashful pink, which is one of the nudes. You can see that it's it's a brighter pink, but I think this one is still very wearable. Such a beautiful shade. I really, really like it. Uh, I like the cool undertones in it as well. I love how this one reflects the light also, so I think this is one of my favorites. I really, really like this one. This last one is called Scarlet. It's a beautiful red. Really, really beautiful. So just like Uptown Pink, it's quite pigmented and bright, but the same thing applies. You can apply them a little bit more sheer, you can blot it off with a tissue, you can apply it a bit thicker if you want more of a bright uh, pigment to show. So this one is really beautiful, I do really like it. It's a really nice, pretty wearable red. This last one is called Scarlet. It's a beautiful red, really, really beautiful. So just like Uptown Pink, it's quite pigmented and bright, but the same thing applies. You can apply them a little bit more sheer. You can blot it off with a tissue. You can apply it a bit thicker if you want 
more of a bright uh, pigment to show. All right, so those are all of these swatches. Now, after doing all swatches of seven of those shades, my lips actually feel amazing. They are really nice and hydrated. I love the feeling of this gloss product on my lips. You're getting color, but you're also getting such a nice hydration. It's not sticky, it doesn't smell bad, it doesn't taste bad. So many glosses can go wrong in a lot of ways, and I think this is going right. So I hope you guys check these out. I think they're definitely worth a try. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.